Good morning. Hope you kids are doing well and keeping warm. This is my cat Puff, if you've never met him before. And we're in front of the aquarium as well. I thought you might find that kind of fun to watch while I was telling you a bit of a story. Today, I'm going to actually tell you two stories about some adventures that I had when I was in Kenya. Now, one of them takes place now, if some of you have been camping before, you may know what I mean when I say there was a shed out back. Some of you may know it as an outhouse, but um, I'm just going to refer to it as a shed. So, um, it was very dark and I needed to go to the shed. And so I went and there's no electricity in the village that we were in and the shed was very dark and I went in and all of a sudden I felt something on my head and I went screaming out of the shed and whatever it was came flying out with me. I had no idea what it was but it really scared me and I'm not usually scared of the dark. So that's one little story. The other story um, is a little bit longer and it's so fun to tell. Um, where we were very often, it was very dry and water was a real problem for the people in the village where we were. And while we were there, it actually rained, which was very exciting for the people. But what it did is it made the roads very, very wet and muddy. And we had the luxury of being in a car. Well, the roads really weren't made for a car to be driving on. And it didn't take long before the car got stuck in the mud and really stuck. Like, you know, sometimes our cars here in, in Winnipeg or uh, Manitoba can get stuck in the snow. Well, this was way worse than even that. So it was sinking into the mud. And so there were, there was myself and two other ladies and then an, um, a couple other vehicles that were part of this group that we were in. Anyway, our car sank into the mud. And so we decided that because we were close enough we would get out and we would start walking to where we were staying. Now again, it got very dark and there's no street lights. And between the three of us women, we had a tiny little flashlight and it was hardly anything, but it was still something. And so one of the men that was in our group volunteered to go and he would walk with us just to make sure that we would stay safe. And so it didn't take long before our sandals were just sticking in the mud and our feet were full of mud. And um, it was a sticky, dirty, muddy mess. Now the interesting thing about walking along in the dark was I had no idea and the two other women I was with had no idea what, where we were going. But the man that was with us knew exactly where we were going, even in the dark. So he walked ahead of us, and then the three of us ladies linked arms, and we started walking through the mud and following our guide. Well, it didn't take long before we started laughing because we could feel the mud between our toes, and it was just the most almost ridiculous thing we could imagine. And um, we started laughing. Well, what we didn't realize is that the people in the community around us could hear these three of us women, and they called us Mazungos because we were very white. I'm pretty sure we glowed in the dark. We are so white. And they could hear us laughing and talking and just having a great time as we walked along the road in the dark, in the mud. Now you may be wondering, what does this have to do? Oh, Puff is looking at the fishes. <laughs> what does this have to do with a children's story? Well, I'm gonna tell you. Pastor Bruce is gonna be telling us about a passage in 1 John, and I'm gonna read it to you and maybe you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. 
This is in 1 John chapter 1, and it says, If we claim we experience a shared life with him and continue to stumble, stumble around in the dark, we're obviously lying through our teeth. We're not living what we claim. And that kind of reminded me about my story in the shed and how I was so scared and stumbled around in the dark, not knowing what was around me. But if we walk in the light, God himself being the light, we also experience a shared life with one another. And you know what? I shared the life with my friends and we laughed. And you know why? Because we had a guide and we had a light and we knew that we would be safe. I hope that you remember this story and you remember that God is light and he is with us, a shield around us.